Now that we have this block done, we can go ahead and select copy up here. We can select these two objects, right click to tell it yes. Choose the endpoint down here. And we can specify an offset of 50 millimeters, hit enter. Right click to finish this up and that finishes the base plate. Now we will be able to move on to annotating it and dimensioning it. So if we come up to the jig tabs layer, we can go ahead and turn off guidelines and switch to annotations. Note one thing with AutoCAD is if you are currently in another command, it will not let you modify the layers you're working with. So now we've turned guidelines off. And here is our jig plate. If we come over to the annotation fly out. We can select the dimension style icon by manufacturing metric. Select manufacturing metric and hit modify. You can modify the information in these tabs as you see fit. But for now I am going to change our text placement to centered which drops it as you can see up here right into the center of the dimensioning lines. And we're going to come over to Tolerances and hit Symmetrical and set this upper value to 1 and then hit OK. And go ahead and close this out and now we're going to try and use proper dimensioning techniques for setting this up. So come over to the annotate bar or annotate tab and you end up with this menu in the ribbon. Let's choose linear dimension and select our endpoint here and select an endpoint right here. And tell it to put it right about there. Now we can come up and use one of the other options it has called baseline. You also have continue. But baseline will start every dimension from this base corner until we tell it to do so or something different. And it automatically staggers them. So let's come up and select this end point here. And we can choose this one. Now notice I'm not selecting all of them because I will be doing some additional dimensioning in these areas individually. And we can come and select this one and this one here. And right click and hit enter. Choose dimension again for our endpoint. Select this and then repeat the process going up. Now that all of our linear dimension is done, we're going to come up and make a couple multi-liters. So we can either use the button right here or type M liter as you can see. So let's click that and let's come into the center of this box and tell it 
or hit A. And just click outside of there to finish that. Now we're going to do that for all of our boxes that are 10 millimeters by 20 millimeters and then make a side note that tells the dimension in order to save some of the space in here and make it look a little cleaner. Now that we have all of our multi-leaders done, we're going to come up and choose multi-line text then select somewhere over on this side drag it down and then we are going to type in the information for all of our boxes dimensionally so we'll say A then all boxes A have a nominal dimension of 10 by 20. And there is our note for multiliter A. Now if we come to home and line, we're going to switch over to a phantom line, select the line tool and draw one going from there. It just needs to be like 10 millimeters long. And then do one for over here as well. that will let us do an angular dimension for these blocks. So switch back over to annotate, come up and select angular. Zoom in here a little bit. Select that and then that. And you can play with this a little and decide how you want it. Inside angles are generally the easiest to set up so we will set that one there hit up to bring up our command again and select these two you'll notice that it did not put it where we really want the dimension so we can select this move that out of the way and shift this guy around and then hit enter enter again and that brings our dimensioning to where we want it